Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain how to delete shadow copies. And in particular, we're going to explain how to delete orphaned shadow copies. But we'll show you the normal way first. So here I've got shadow copies enabled. Uh, and I'm sure you already know, but a shadow copy is simply a, a snapshot, basically, of uh, a previous point in time. You can think of it like a backup, but don't use it as a backup. It's a very bad idea to do that. Okay, everybody probably knows what a shadow copy is that's watching this. Let's get back to the point. So you could click on uh, this shadow copy and select delete now. That works just fine. However, let's say you've done something like this. You've gone into your shadow copies, uh, as we have done, and selected disable. Oh my, it's still using 27 gig. Well, in theory, you're supposed to be able to go into disk cleanup, right click on it, run as administrator, and have it run, and it will, in theory, delete this use space. And you can see here, this is considerable. On the one disk, I've got 146 gig used. On another disk, I've got 27 gig used. That's not insignificant. I need that space back. But looking through disk cleanup, I don't see that amount of space on any of these entries. And you can go into more options and select cleanup, but that only applies if you have shadow copies enabled and you have more than one of them. So more than one being more than one shadow copy uh, on a particular volume. So that's just not going to work. So how do you actually clean these up? Well, it's not very challenging. First thing you do is bring up a command prompt as an admin. And the command is VSS admin shadows, nope, list shadows, I believe. It'll tell us if we got it wrong. Bingo. So you can see there's a whole bunch of them in here. And we could delete them individually, or we can just dump them all. And how do you do that? Well, you can just look at the VSS admin tool, and it'll tell you. It's VSS delete shadow, uh, delete shadows. So it's VSS admin delete shadows slash all. Now, these shadow copies in particular were blocked because I'm using a backup tool which created them, and they're the only ones that have permission to delete them. But in almost everybody else's case, that command is going to wipe them out. Now, another way to go about uh, squeezing them down and getting rid of them is just to set the disk size for your volume shadow copy, just how large you want it to be. So you can go into your settings, and you can make it tiny. So we'll make it, you know, 1,000, right, which is one gig, something like that, which you can also do through command line. And there's the command there, if you want to do it by command line, but you probably don't. And that's how you delete shadow copies, including ones that are orphaned. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.